And then this one, again, three, two, one, scratch. And the What should, what, should, what should we call you, Rebecca? Let's make up a name for you. What about Becky? Nobody will know you then, will they? <laughs> so, so, two injections. Let's just have a little... Now, it's your ankle mm -hmm. that's sore a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. So if I just mark up... So, Rebecca, if you can kind of get that video... So this Rebecca, not her real name, she's taking her own video. How brave is that? <laughs> so if I've marked up the ankle bone, here's our calc fib ligament. And it's her ATFL that's a little bit sore. So, Rebecca saw in that area there? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay. So that's gonna be injection number one. And we're gonna do a bit of skin prep in a minute. And then the other area is where you've got your Henry's mononeuritis. So let's find that little hot spot. So our superficial perineal nerve is gonna be coming out of the deep fascia. So where was that hot spot, Becky? There. Just there? Okay. Yeah. So around there as well. Um, the superficial, superficial, excuse me, perineal nerve comes out the deep fascia and is coming down here around the front of the ankle. So Rebecca has got point tenderness there with a tinel sign going into the lateral branch of the superficial perineal nerve as well as some ATFL. So a classic inversion injury type presentation. So a bit of gloves on. Gloves come in two sizes, too big and too small. Don't laugh while you're holding the camera, keep it steady. Um, bit of skin prep. We have to do it under sterile technique. So we, we like these little chloro preps. These are really cool. So we take the chloro preps and they just kind of, they're plastic, they just break. And then we'll get a little bit of skin prep just there. And we're going to come in on the ankle there. And that gives us two nice big grey mounds. Get some of that ink out. And we'll just remark up so we don't miss the right spot there and there. Right, Rebecca, NHS or private patient? You're a private patient, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use a fresh needle because she's a private patient and a nice skinny one, not the ones we use for our NHS patients. I'm joking, of course, <laughs> but I'm not really. So I've already mixed up, a little bit of local anesthetic. She's skinny syringe now, skinny syringe. So this is a 50-50 mix of Depamedrone for soft tissues and a little bit of local anaesthetic. Let's give it a little mix. So Becky will do this just to one first. So three, two, one, scratch. And you don't really get much of a hot spot with these. You're really just going to go into where it's a little bit sore. I'm not going to give you the biggest dose of steroid first time round, but you might find a little sting as that goes in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A little bit of patient feedback there. <laughs> three, two, one, out. And we're going to put a bit of a plaster on that in just a sec. And then this one, again, three, two, one, scratch. And because it's some local anaesthetic in Becky, what I'd be really interested to know is for the rest of the day, whether that goes numb because of the local anaesthetic. If it does, that's the local anaesthetic that's taken out the nerve. Mm -hmm. Safety needles, look at these. Cool. If that takes out, the pain, so the pain goes today, mm -hmm. that tells me the local anaesthetic was in the right area okay. and that gives me some diagnostic confirmation about my injection accuracy okay. and then over the next week to two weeks I'm hoping the steroid kicks in and it settles down where that nerve comes out deep and it's a bit, a bit irritated at that point there. Yeah. Two little plasters. Steroid, one in ten chance of a steroid flare. So there's a one in ten chance it can be really sore for a day or two. Yeah. Very, very small risk of infection, very small risk of facial flushing, very small risk of issues at the area like a little bit of fat wasting or loss of colour. Mm -hmm. The main thing I see is it being a bit stingy for a day or two. Mm -hmm. So light duties the rest of the day, don't drive home, come and see me in six weeks' time. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that one or both has really settled down. Yeah. But really with the local anaesthetic, let me know how those two areas feels, particularly this one, where the nerve goes all the way down to the toe. I'm expecting the top of the foot to be numb today, right. and that tells me this one's in the right area. Okay. Any questions, Chucky Egg? No, nothing. You're awesome. Come again. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Thanks, Ben.